All right everyone what's up my name is Sarthak and I chose electrical engineering at IIT Bombay now you've probably heard the rumors phenomenal placements and research that could literally short circuit your brain and offers like 30 lpa 50 lpa 1 crore and even 4 crores we've seen it all we've got professors here who've literally got more than 3 decades of industry experience the academic curriculum ever evolving just like your stress levels but but hold on who's even doing electrical engineering anymore is it still worth it what have i learned so far and should you even consider taking electrical engineering in 2024 or 2025 let's find out So bro why electrical over CSE look i was getting CSE in some of the lower IITs but i mean come on bro why would i sacrifice the IIT Bombay or IIT Delhi wala tag and before you go like bro it this is all about just building circuits and fixing light bulbs here and there no that's not it na it's got calculus linear algebra device physics quantum tech power devices microcontrollers programming loads of programming in multiple languages mind you so it's kind of like the perfect blend of everything that has intrigued me since childhood so that's why i'm doing electrical engineering okay so now the interesting stuff how are the placements like bro trust me some of the best out there all the big tech companies that you dream in working off like except a few they all open up for cse and electrical engineering students and fact of the matter is if you look at the final shortlisting of all these high paying companies like even in internships or placements you'll find that most of them not all but most of them most of the shortest students they're either from csc department or electrical department or ec or any of the circuitel or semi circuitel branches you can also apply to companies which relate to any domain there is that you can think of finance consulting product management ai software you name it and i have a friend or a senior who is doing some batshit crazy stuff in their respective domains but isn't electrical a thing of the past like why would i choose a branch which is as old as perhaps my granddad true shit bro it's probably the oldest branch in the entire country but bro you do have to consider that this is iit not some random private college the curriculum over here is constantly evolving like it is modified every single year just last year ki baat hai we got a new compulsory course introduction to data science and machine learning so regardless of which domain you are planning to pursue in the future you have to at least go through the fundamentals of all these technologies and dude in my second year i built a literal cpu so you get a really good exposure of all the futuristic technologies and domains computer networks architecture processor design electric vehicles intelligent machines you name it we're doing it and this vast exposure honestly gives us a phenomenal edge when it comes to applying for internships or placements both on campus and even more so for off campus opportunities but it cannot be all fun and games right what about the academic load and how difficult is it to pursue this branch Yep, it's one of the most hectic and difficult branches in the entire institute. Like we've got so many credits, so many courses, it's tough to ace at everything. Like if you compare to other branches, we almost always have more number of credits, more number of courses and more number of labs to go. And don't forget, you're in the room with India's 200 smartest students. So the competition is intense and sometimes even gets toxic. And the next thing you know, you have 10 hours worth of classes, 50 assignments due and a mid-semester exam coming up. So what are the professors really like and is attendance compulsory well it just depends on who you ask just this semester i have got a professor who says if you want to score a grade less than 9 on 10 you'll have to put in special efforts and then there's this another prof who, who almost reported me to the director for opening whatsapp in his very engaging lecture Now the attendance policies also vary. Some professors don't care at all. You can literally skip all the classes and just walk into the final exams and score nines and tens. And then there are the entitled ones who sometimes ask for a hundred percent attendance. Like, come on, sir, we've got six, seven other courses to deal with as well. Like, zindagi ki attendance sheet mein bhi main hundred percent nahi ho. Kabi kabi pura din sote hue nikal jata hai. So, bhai. What are your future plans? So I'm in a dual degree program, which means that I get to stick around in college for five years. So one more year of academic torture. Yay! So when I graduate from the institute, I'll have two degrees issued from IIT Bombay. Elect core is not something which I would like to do for a living, like for the next ten years. 
लाइक एट लीस्ट लॉन्ग टर्म तो नहीं आई एम यूनिंग मोर टूवर्ड्स सॉफ्टवेयर एंड टेक फॉर माई अपकमिंग इंटर्नशिप एंड प्लेसमेंट एंड ऑफकोर्स हू डज इन माइंड दी एक्स्ट्रा पे एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट कम अलॉन्ग विद सॉफ्टवेयर एंड टेक रिलेटेड रोल्स नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट यू इफ यूर जई स्टूडेंट शुड यू कंसिडर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट आई टी बॉम्बे वेल इफ यूर इंटरेस्टेड इन द फील्ड डेफिनेटली येस इफ यूर गेटिंग इट इन दॉप थ्री आई टीज आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टेक इट इफ यू कैन हैंडल दी अब एवरेज अकेडमिक लोड एंड आर मोर इंक्लाइन टूवर्ड्स रिसर्च then definitely yes also if cse at top 3 iits feels like a distant dream and you do not want to compromise on a good college then electrical engineering might be a pretty good choice but dhyan se sun lo if you hate studying or want a very chill college life have dreams of a startup and no intentions whatsoever of pursuing software quant or tech related roles then this branch is probably not for you so this has been my journey of electrical engineering at iit bombay to be honest with you guys i've had my fair share of difficulties with the branch trying to cope up with the insane workload not being the smartest guy in the room and a whole lot of other obstacles but hey without this how would we create the batman story arc but then again it's not for the faint hearted unless you've got the spirit to make the impossible possible